Hi, I'm Real Generic Demon, and these are my pickups for July 2020. Right, let's get started. So, um, July was quite a, it was a smaller month probably than June, but it was a decent sized month. So, um, glasses first, because uh, I can't see a thing without. Um, first thing I picked up um, was, I saw on Facebook a, um, a, a PlayStation 2 bundle, and it came with, um, and I haven't even tried this, and I haven't tried it, it's got dance mats and controllers, it's got, hang on, oh, reach down sort of sing stars and all this kind of stuff um, buzz, it had all buzz, two sets of buzz including two sets of controllers and of course a nice silver PlayStation 2 which I've got plugged in just to sort of give it a little bit of a it's, it's been off for a while so that the, the clock wasn't spinning so so I've given it a little bit of a power up by, by doing it so so it wasn't a bad one and that was um, included two, including the compact one as well because they, they, they had another one when I got there I, I, they, they said oh they had another one because they weren't sure this one would work so they actually had another one um, and I think that was the best part of um, 60 quid for all of the bits and pieces that are there so some of the games actually feature in here I haven't done the SingStar one so, so I haven't done that then um, my lovely 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 friend um, Andre um, I'll put a link to his um, his, his Zombie Bob's Emporium um, on, on on, on the page below, on the description below, um, sent me this. This now completes my, well, apart from if you include ZX Spectrum next, this completes my Spectrum collection. I actually have one of everything, um, and that's brilliant. That's absolutely amazing. That was just, just sent to me um, uh, to, to finish it all off. A plus, uh, a plus three, it is. 128k. Excellent. Thank you very much, Andre. Um, I haven't got space to put that up. I need to put it up somewhere, don't I? Um, but yes, it's there. It's, I'll put it on the floor. It'll be, it'll, we'll, we'll know it's there. Anyway, I also got a few other pickups this, this month, um, some of which are, and I'm going to reach down and get them, um, some of which are um, uh, Switch games, um, and I've got quite a few Switch games, got quite a few Switch games um, next month as well. Um, but I really enjoyed them. So um, this one's Rhyme. Um, Rhyme is a kind of Prince of Persia style game. On the Switch, it's it's quite low in resolution. And it does stutter a little bit, but but to be honest with you, I enjoyed it so much. I finished it in about ten hours, I think. I played it for sort of three days solid, um, and I really enjoyed Rhyme. Um, it's got some nice graphics, um, and this one, of course, came with a whole sort of bunch of bits and pieces, sort of add-on, you know, collectors sort of things. It's like a tenner, um, and for a tenner. It's quite good. There's a good story to it. I have to admit that uh, I got something in my eye at the end. Um, it was really good though. I really enjoyed that one. So, so rhyme. Then we've got one. This is recommended to me by um, Retro48K. Again, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, this is Mega Man 11. Oh God, I can't. I can't do it. I've tried. I've tried. I've, I've put it on. I've watched the story. I've tried. I tried really hard um, to sort of to, to, to get to get. To, it's got an advert there for the for Mega Man X. Legacy Edition and Legacy X2 Edition. Um, I've tried really hard, I, and I can't, I can't get it. I'm trying, I'm trying really hard. I think I just haven't, wasn't there when this one came out, so I, I'm not, I don't, yeah, doing my best, doing my best with that one. Um, I, I want to like it. Don't get me wrong, I can see the effort's been gone into it, but I, I, I find it really difficult. This one is called Black Future 88. The whole world stopped in 88, um, and you've got a limited amount of time to live. I think it's 10 minutes. Yeah, that's it, 10 minutes. It's a procedurally generated pixel graphic um, little, um, well, it's fun actually, and again, it was just dirt cheap. I, I like dirt cheap, and I like it when they come with cartridges, so, 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 and lovely inlays and things like that. So, so, um, no, no manual in this one, unfortunately, but I do like the cartridges. So, I really enjoyed that. So, so, so that's a, that's a good one. You've got to climb up the thing. You've got to build on your stats and your skills. You can lose time, whatever else is, and basically, you have to get to the top of the tower too. I think. I guess to survive, I mean, you've got to get there, but you've got 10 minutes basically, so the games can last no more than 10 minutes, um, and in fact they can last, last less, I suppose a little bit more depending on what you get skill wise, um, so as you go, but all procedurally generated, kind of cool. Now this next one was, again was from Retro48K, and I've got to thank him an awful lot because um, uh, it was a freebie, and it's an amazing freebie. It's the limited run Streets of Rage 4, um, I, I can't, I can't, 
tell you how um, absolutely um, brilliant that is. Um, he sent that, and it comes with the obviously the soundtrack as well um, for Streets of Rage 4. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. Sometimes the, 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 the generosity of people is just unbelievable. Um, but yeah, he, he sent that to me. Um, and that's just amazing. That really is. I, I, Streets of Rage 4, brilliant. Um, a really well uh, balanced fighting game. Very good indeed. I can't believe how good that is. That's really good. Thank you very much, mate. Um, next one, Rad Rogers. Again, another cheapy. I can see why with this one. This one's got really downgraded graphics. If you're looking at the graphics on top corner there, and you probably can see it's quite fuzzy. Um, and I think that 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 is that's a bit sad, if I'm honest, that it's so fuzzy. I would have thought they could have done better with it, but it's, it's sort of a run along, shoot 'em up, beat 'em up kind of thing um, with a sort of 80s style, on 80s, 90s sort of style kid thing going on. It's okay. It's not brilliant, though. So, right, okay, um, I was, I've debated this. I've put these in weird piles along the way, but we, go, we have a pile. Let's do, let's do this pile first. I'll lift this one up and we'll do this one first. So, it's a big pile, actually. So, we've got, um, for the DS, not much for the DS, most much, Despicable Me. It's kind of a min, um, not minions. It's kind because of, it's got minions in it. It's, it's not minions. It's um, kind of um, lemmings, effectively. So, so basically, you tell the the, the the minions what to do by clicking on the screen, and uh, you, you you make them walk along the level. Now, this was actually inspired by um, uh, Zoe Kirk Robinson's um, Game Hammer video on PS2 games, and I couldn't find the PS2 version of this game, and it's obviously not the same game, but it's actually all right. It's not bad. I thought I'll get it while I'm there. It wasn't very expensive. I think I bought that from Magpie Music. I do recommend Magpie Music. Um, they they include the postage to begin with, so you don't have to do that whole, if you go to CEX, add that pound ninety five to it anyway. So, um, I got Destroy All Humans, I think it was the, the, the other one the other day, and this is just the first one, So and I've forgotten entirely how to play it, so you just see me flying around with the UFO like that. Um, I did play it long enough to get to the point where I was flying the UFO and now I've gone back to it, I can't remember how to play it, but uh, yeah, Destroy Hungry Humans, it's been re-released recently, um, redone, it's actually quite good fun, you're basically the bad guys, I like being the bad guys, bad guys are good, so it's fun, Destroy All Humans on the Xbox. Um, this one I had to have um, because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of um, Bomb Jack. This is the Tecmo um, Classic Arcade. The only problem I have is there's no Pixel Perfect mode. You'll see um, Bomb Jack in the top corner there. But there's no Pixel Perfect mode. It has 11 games on it. It's got Bomb Jack, Rygar, Star Force, um, Solomon's Key, Pleds. I can't. I, I, even with my glasses on, I can't see it. San, San, Sanjo, uh, Bay, uh, Pinball. Action, Strato Fighter, Swimmer, Tecmo Ball, and Techno Cop. Um, they're, 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 some of them are good, some of them are bad. Some of the shoot 'em ups are really good, actually. I can't remember which one it was, though, that took my fancy, but the two shoot 'em ups I think that are on there are really quite good. It's a nice compilation, it, doesn't, it only features on the Xbox. Um, it was complete. Um, it was, I think it was a 10, 10 quid, it was an eBay purchase. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I'm quite pleased with uh, with that one but apart from the fact that it doesn't do the, the it's a bit blurry blurry which is a bit of a shame right on we go we have the incredible hulk ultimate destruction this is actually really good free roaming hulk action you can't really beat it it's actually quite a good hulk game i, I this i could have seen i would have loved to have seen this either remade or done modern wise because it's really good you get to do all of these abilities and things like that smashing things up i really like that um, i haven't gone very far but i have to, but it gives you the test ground so you can play all of his abilities um it's kind of it's it's really well done i, I really like that one um i can't remember how expensive it was i don't remember if it was very expensive or not, but it's really good okay um sticking with my fighters theme theme because i've been going capcom Namco, um, Sega, everything. Anybody that's got a fighter at the moment, I'm absolutely obsessed by. So, so this is um, Namco versus SNK Two EO Millionaires Fighting Two Thousand and One, which is a bit of a mouthful. Basically, it's the same version of. Uh, it's a slightly bigger roster than the other one that's there still 44 characters so i got the playstation 2 version this is slight there's more slightly more to the to the to the to the to the xbox version if i remember rightly it's, it's not complete it's no manual that's just the sort of inlay thing for it 
just adding it to the collection. I like I like fighters. I like I like two D fighters. I'm, I'm I'm obsessed by them. I just like um you know shoot 'em ups and and these sort of action arcade games, which brings me really to um, Metal Slug Three, and uh, basically I, I it's Metal Slug. It's the S and K classic um, converted over to 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 to, to the, to the um, Xbox. It's really good. Really enjoyed that. Um, lots of brilliant, beautiful graphics, and in this case, it's all pixel perfect. Lovely. Okay, on we go. Uh, this is Juice X Invisible War. This looks like it could be a good one. Um, never played it. It's very cheap. Um, well, I've never played it. I played it long enough to film the footage up there, which is terrible because I haven't got, got didn't I didn't have time to really give it the, the the play I'd like to give it. It's all the problem. That's my problem. That's why I like arcade games nowadays because I can put them on, spend five minutes. And then get off them, and then go back to them again, and spend five minutes, and go back to them, and then spend five minutes. So that's just the kind of thing it is. Right, this one's actually quite good. This is a cheapy. This is um, five or five games. Um, this is Zoo, which actually did feature on the DS, and it's really good on the DS. It basically, it's a matching, matching, matching animals to make it spawn through different levels, and there's different puzzles that go with it. It's actually all right. It's it's not fun. It's not fun. It's lots of fun, um, to be honest with you. And it's cheap, um, which is also a benefit. We love cheap, so so cheap's good. PlayStation Two, that one. Um, this one was again extremely cheap, and I don't know why the, the first ones in the series and the second one in the series are more expensive than the third one, which is Devil May Cry, um, which is a bit like the the Chaos Legion thing I had the other day. Devil May Cry spends a lot of time without his jacket on, um, flashing his chest. Um, this is very very much complete, um, and and you basically it's I don't know it's good. It seems to be Dance Days and Awakening. It's, it's fine. It does the job nicely. Really enjoyed that one. Right, what else have we got? Oh, this is again um, inspired by 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 uh, Zoe Kirk Robinson um, from her D's. This is Donald Duck Quack Attack. It's actually very good. Graphics are very nice. Solid looking action platformer. Quite like that one. So 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 that's Donald Duck. <clears throat> I said, so I'll say, this is the, I, I couldn't work out what the piles that I was doing things in. So I'm going to do the next pile that I've got because this is this got some odds and sods in it. So let's do this one. Right, okay. So this one actually was inspired by uh, Dave Plays Retro Games Badly Virtual. He said that it was available, IK Plus, for the PlayStation 1. Um, it's actually got the manual, but it's very light on. On, on manual, if that makes sense, um, and it has the music that's been redigitized to to a did CD soundtrack, and I don't like it. <laughs> I like the original. I like the original on the Amiga. Well, that's, see, for me, the Amiga was the original version. You see, um, I don't like it as much as the Amiga version. I think the Amiga version is better. Um, it's all right. It doesn't save. It doesn't do anything. It just plays IK Plus. If you liked IK Plus, that's fine. It's good fun. It's fun enough. It's not as good. Um, right, and this came from Dave, he sent me this as a, as a freebie, this is Spyro the Dragon, which kind of brings on a whole lot of other things to be honest with you. I had Spyro at the same time as Croc, and I got Croc first, I'm sure I got Croc first. I prefer Croc, to be honest, than Spyro, but Spyro I thought was really beautiful, the, the little dragon, the little purple dragon was excellent, and went on to be Skylanders and all that kind of stuff, so uh, yeah, Platinum Edition, absolutely fine. Thank you very much Dave, it's excellent. Um, so, because of that, there was another chap um, on the Retrotech 100 Facebook page, and he was selling um, a batch of uh, Spyro games for the PlayStation 2. So I bought them all. So this is the uh, Enter the Dragonfly. They've also been made by different people. I find it really weird. This one's Universal Interactive who's made this one with um, D6 or something like that. Can't read the can't read the details of that anyway. So so we basically it's 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 more Spyro the Dragon Spado. Spot on the dragon, um, and yet more Spyro the dragon because it was a whole batch for a, for a, for a, for a couple of I can't remember what it was fifteen quid sorry fourteen quid either way it was a whole batch of them so this is the le the legend of Spyro a new beginning I like quite like the the look of Spyro on this one he's got like different types of horns it's kind of cool but this is Sierra now did Sierra get bought by Universal but either way um, this is another. Sp Spyro Dragon. I didn't know there were so many Blum and Spyro the Dragon games actually. I was quite quite surprised. Because here's another one. This is Spyro a Hero's Tale. Um and this one this one is Sierra again. Maybe Universal bought Sierra or the rights to it maybe. Um 
I can't remember. They all seem, they've all blurred into one in my head. So the footage is at the top corner of the screen. I can't remember anything about them beyond that. They've blurred, blurred in my head. I saw somebody else talking about this recently. It was Jay, um, his manchild, a channel which really needs a million, million subs because uh, the production value is excellent and I love his dry humour. Um, he was talking about Tenchu in his in his top 1998 games. Um, yeah, I like Tenchu. I can't remember how to play it. And without a manual, I can't remember all the bloody cars are. So, so um, yeah, Tenchu, Stealth Assassin. I remember really, really enjoying this and spending ages murdering people silently as a ninja. Okay, this is again inspired by Zoe Kirk Robinson's um, uh, 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 D list of her uh, uh, PlayStation 2s. This is uh, Deadly Strike. It's not that good, unfortunately. It looked I, the, I, the box caught my eye because she showed the box and whatever else is. I did say I think she said it was all right. Um, I think by all right we really should be saying subpar. Um, it's okay. It's not a particularly good beat 'em up. It's a kind of roll along level beat 'em up. It's, I think it's a Japanese import from the looks of things. It's not. It's not. It's not good. I was hoping it would be better. It's a Midas game. Um, it's a hit and miss, aren't they? Really, Midas games. It'll stay in the connection. This one um, was after watching. This is Haven. This is after watching a video by the gentleman at Telltale, who was Telfit. No, sorry, not Telltale. Sorry, Traveller's Tales. These are the guys who do all the Lego games now. Um, but back in the day, they made a lot of Amiga games, and then they moved up to other things, and then they made this one. And this, he was he was saying about how No Man's Sky had come along, um, and he'd already started creating this, which allows you to explore planets, and go off planet, and sort of go where you like, and whatever else it is. And do you know what? It's technically impressive, and only a pound nowadays for the, for the PlayStation 2. It is worth looking at, simply for the technical excellence that it is not to say it's not a bad game it's a good game as well but the technical excellence involved in that is just quite phenomenal okay getting there um these are some that came with that bundle um star wars the the the, the first trilogy very good lego telltale games again not telltale games, um, traveler's tales again sorry um created that one aedos and all the other things and then the original trilogy as well which is great um, very nice, enjoyed that, it's a good game. So we've got those. And then last batch, we're on the last batch, we're on the last run now. These are the ones I'm quite excited about, to be honest with you. This one's um, um, Alex Griffin's fault. Um, Griffo game, Griff, Griffo's retro gaming corner in wherever it is. Um, he said that uh, we should all avoid uh, Space Invaders Invasion Day. I really like Space Invaders Invasion Day. It's basically Space Invaders, but with three-dimensional characters. It's on the top of the corner of the screen. Really, really, really fun. Really, really cheap. Um, it's actually. It's. Uh, I bet you. They, I bet they had a rush on these after he showed it on 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 uh, the the Retro Tech um, 100 page because it's really good. I really like it. It's good, good fun. It's not very difficult. It's um, it's a uh, Taito. It's fine. It's a good game. I like that one. That was really good. So you're wrong, Alex. It's great. Okay, uh, sticking with my beat 'em ups. I love these. Love my beat 'em ups. Um, this is uh, Street Fighter Alpha Three for the uh, PlayStation One. Had this back in the day. It didn't wasn't the light label version as the original version, but the original version cost a fortune. And I'm more a gamer than I'm necessarily a collector. I like collecting, but but I'd rather game. So I'll take the like the lesser version of it. Uh, it's actually complete. Um, it was a gamble from. From CEX, as you always know, they're a gamble, and it's the manual is like proper big, proper big. It'll be all, it'll all be different languages throughout it. But yeah, that's Street Fighter Alpha. Good stuff. Very nice. Good game. But I wasn't done. Wasn't done with Street Fighter. I got the Street Fighter Alpha Anthology, which basically has the whole lot. Um, and I'm not bothered that I've got it again because I, I like it for the PlayStation One. And um, this has got Street Fighter Alpha, Street Fighter Alpha Two, Street Fighter Alpha. Something I can't read because my eyesight's that bad. Gold, gold edition. Street Fighter Alpha 3 and Pocket Fighters. So this is a really good um, combination. If you didn't want to get them on the PlayStation um, 1, because a lot of them came out on the PlayStation 1, you can get them all in this anthology. Um, we're unfortunately missing the, the manual, but it's actually not expensive, which is quite amazing really, um, that it's got that whole uh, raft of Street Fighter Alpha games. Really, really good. Um, good for the money as well. Um, cheap for the PlayStation 2. Worth it. Definitely worth it. Right, next, we're on to more fighters. Now we're on 3D fighters. We have uh, Virtual Evolved 
Virtua Fighter 4. I really like this. I like Virtua Fighter. I have to admit, I, I like it more than I thought I would do. Um, and next month I've got a pickup that's quite amazing that's, uh, that you won't believe that, that I got so that I could get Virtua Fighter 3. Um, so, so, um, but Virtua Fighter 4, this is good. It's, it's, a, it's a good beat em up. Punch, kick, block. And that's it, and and then there's obviously your skill that's involved in, in doing it. 15 selectable characters, decent AI, all the other bits and pieces. Looks good, it's running the top corner screen, beautiful. Still on 3D Fighters. We got Tekken 5. Um, I had Tekken 4 the other week, or the other month, uh, we got Tekken 5. Um, I'm kind of loving this one, I kind of like this one. This is, this is, this is, this is the Tekken that, that, that I, 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 yeah, this is nice. This is a nice Tekken. This is a good one. Um, I think it's complete as well. It is blooming complete. Um, I like this Tekken. Um, to be fair, I do like Tekken anyway. I'm a, a, bit of, a bit of a. I've got. I think I've collected pretty much all of them now, apart from the new modern sort of sevens upwards. I've got six somewhere as well. Um, but but uh, is it seven seven yeah they're all seven aren't they? Um, which is the PC one. I'm, I kind of uh, you know Soul Calibur and and uh, and. Tekken and it moves really swiftly on the Soul Calibur. It's Tekken, I kind of when they got to that sixth stage. I mean, it's amazing. You'll play five, which is PlayStation Two, and it loads really quickly. PlayStation Six loads fairly fast as well, but 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 they just load so much quicker. And I know it's because there's not so much textures and whatever else is. But realistically, if you're playing a fighting game, you want to get into it, don't you? You don't want it to spend. You don't want to spend five minutes, you know, dulling down your your sort of excitement with with playing it. But anyway, so this is playing right now background here. This is um, Soul Calibur 2. Now this is an interesting one. I don't know what they were thinking here but they had exclusive characters. So for instance in this version, which is the Xbox version, you have Spawn, which is a comic book character from Seth MacFarlane. Um, and it's it's just an additional character, and it's cool. It's a cool character. I gotta admit, it's Spawn is actually very, very cool. He's, he's he's he swears a lot, to be honest with you, but he's very, very cool. Um, and I do like Soul Calibur too. It's really, really good. It's got a lovely sort of missions to move through. Lots of perfectly good unlockables. Really, really, really good Soul Calibur too. A brilliant game. Um, worth worth owning. Um, so that one had Spawn. PlayStation Two version has Hayachi. And I believe that the GameCube version has Link from from yeah, from from the Zelda series. So Hayachi appears in the in the in the PlayStation 2 version, which is really good as well. I mean, it's really really good. It's I I, I got no problems with it, no manual unfortunately. Um, but but uh, again, you, you build through the missions, do bits and pieces. I can't I can't. I can't say how much I'd like these older ones over the new ones because everything was unlockable so you didn't have to buy DLC for it so so that's yeah that's good I like that one so playing away there it's a good game actually um, I had to get Soul Calibur 3 as well while I was at it um, it doesn't feature on the Xbox for some reason so so um, I got the I got the PlayStation 2 version um, nothing wrong with it this is where they start getting to customizations and this is where they start losing me <clears throat> by customizations I don't mean customizations of swords or unlocking characters what I'm talking about is customizations as in editing and creating your own characters the moment they started doing that not to say this isn't a good beat em up and still does all the unlock bits moment they got into the character generation um, they lost me and they lost me because not because I, I sound like a boring old man don't I moaning about the fact that they got uh, um, so sort of different kinds of uh, outfits and whatever else is or, or complete design the characters no I just like I think the thing is that they create some really brilliant characters and I don't really need somebody else's characters involved in it if that, I don't need to create my own I don't want to particularly um, I want to use their characters that they've spent lots of times filling out the fleshing out the lore and the history of um, I don't really want all the other stuff but anyway it's good still good beat em up well worth having um, I think I've got four on the, the Xbox 360 um, and it's fine um, but it's it's not the same thing. Anyway, um, that's my little lot. It wasn't bad actually. It wasn't. It was quite a short one for me. It's small, smaller one. But next month, oh god, god, there are so many things for August. That it's not even finished when I'm recording this. It'll probably this probably won't go out until September, but or oh, the first of September, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. But 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 either way, um, there's so many things for for the next month. I haven't done my spectrum stuff. I'm doing that individually. Um, I think I'm going to do a two part for next month's um, pickups because it's just or, or August's pickups because it's just be massive. Anyway, um, I've been your host, Real Generic Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next.